Yo, so apparently club culture is dead and Gen Z is fed up. I've concluded that Gen Z, my generation, y'all are lame as hell in the club. Honestly, the club is in its flop era. It's not giving hot in here. It's not giving save the last dance. Where is the eight count choreography? I don't understand what the hype is. The shit really lame as fuck, dog. They play the same song. And it ain't like y'all dancing or nothing. Y'all standing on couches. And the funny thing is that's actually what happens, man. I did find a video of that exact thing. Those are the type of clubs that I personally stay away from because you will not have any fun. It's just a bunch of sections, people chilling on your phones. It's no fun. But me personally, if I do get a section, I'm bringing my friends that know how to have a good time regardless. Making them ones like I stay on a cruise. Gotta make brown eyes and they only for you. You talking my language. I can't help but like it. And just like a light switch, you turn me on. That body the muse. I like what it do. I'm up in the snooze. You turn me on. All right, guys, before I get further into this video, if you did not watch my last video, I did get two strikes on this channel, guys. So that means one more strike and this channel is gone forever. So I did make a second channel for you guys to go ahead and subscribe. I will be posting daily content over there as well. And I will try to post content on here as well, but I'm gonna be super careful. So if you really rock with me and you want more content, the link to this new channel will be down below, man, in the pinned comment and the description. And this is what the millennials have to say about the current club culture. So what's the club like now? They just stand around looking on their phones. Oh. They sit around, they order bottle service, they yeah. look on their phones. They're Think about the music that is played today. You can't dance to that music. No, not really. You can't like get... Do you remember just going to the club, the middle of the, the dance floor is Packed. jam packed yes You're and that is also a good point man depending on the club you go if you go to like a hip-hop club and they just play trap music only there's not really much you could do to that man other than and the girls the girls can't even twerk to it so you can't even like get behind a girl or watch a girl move or something you know what i'm saying bruce lee yeah i feel like bruce lee chop chop power like a movie me personally, I'm trying to have a good time. I'm not trying to hear you gonna die. Oh, I shot this person. I shot him. I ran him down. Like, I ain't trying to hear all that, man. I'm trying to have a good time. It's 2023. Clubbing is dead officially. Just a bunch of wannabes who want to be the main character. And if the club is looking like this, <laughs> what's the point of going? Because no one is having fun. I don't even know why they're in there. You see the look on your faces, bro? They're all mean mugging and looking stressed out. If I do go to a club, I'd rather go to like a Latin club or a club with multiple sections. Like if one section is kind of whack, you could go to another one and it's kind of jumping. You know what I'm saying? But Latin clubs and Caribbean clubs, it's a dancing culture, man. So they will dance and have a good time regardless. And that's what I've noticed. I've had the most fun at Latin clubs and the music is more danceable. And this girl right here is talking about her clubbing experience in Chicago. Both nights I went out, majority of the younger people were just standing there. And it was like millennials and like even people my parents' age, they was turned up. Like they were turned up. I was having a ball. In fact, my damn legs hurt. Like I got to get in the gym because I'm trying to act ignorant or something. You know what I'm saying? Like and when I was getting these clips together, this is a common theme I've heard is that the millennials know how to have fun and Gen Z are the ones that's more afraid to dance or they don't move that much however it don't matter how good the dj is some of y'all are just lame as hell in the club i don't know who you think you are i don't know if y'all think y'all like little celebrities or some and men i don't know if y'all watching out for y'all ops but then at that point you might as well not even come outside if you gotta you know stand there looking stupid the club is meant for you to have fun and be pretty much like a child again like the way it's set up with the lights and the different colors and everything it's meant for you to express your inner child but people just go in that bitch and be numb 
looking around, even walking in with sunglasses, like they're not trying to be there. I was at the club last weekend because my cousin was in town and, I, and he wanted to experience the Orlando nightlife. So we brought him to a club. One big thing I've noticed with the club is that girls don't dance on guys that much anymore. This shit crazy. <laughs> Quick question. Why don't women dance with men anymore when they be at the clubs or when they be at parties? Like, I don't really be seeing a lot of that type of interaction. Even when I be seeing people's videos when they be in the club, it usually be a bunch of women slapping their girlfriends on the ass. And I thought about this when I was watching Baddies yesterday, and I noticed, like, they don't never be dancing with no men. It usually just be them dancing with each other it's almost like they're the girls are making it a crime to dance with a guy i'm not saying it's completely like that there are some girls that still dance with men i do see it but for the most part they don't be dancing on guys like that man they dance on themselves like what the hell is the point man y'all could dance on yourselves at the crib but when you come out here man the club is a social environment mainly for singles it's meant to be social you're meant to interact with each other not just interact with yourselves throw that ass back stop being a lesbian I don't understand how y'all be doing it. And then it's not even like back in the day. It's not social at all. All people do is be on social media. The girls be sitting sitting down or they be standing with their friends, taking pictures and videos and shit, dancing on each other. The dudes be up against the wall. I seen a dude last night scrolling on Snapchat. Bro, if you scrolling on Snapchat in the club, take your ass home, bro. Who even use that shit? It's either Snapchat, Instagram, or the weather app, man. There's a lot of weather apps open, man. <laughs> and that happens because people are afraid to you know, really express themselves and just be social and have a good time, man. Like, this is what I'm talking about, bro. It's not like back in the day where everybody, when you went to the club, you talked to a little shorty, y'all danced a little bit, you got her number. Like, none of that shit even happened, bro. It'd be a rare occasion a couple of girls have danced on some guys and they usually got to know them, bro. Like, the shit is just lame as fuck. Y'all gotta stop gassing that shit up for no reason, bro. My guy sounded like he had nothing but bad experiences at the club. In terms of my experiences, I say it's been 50-50. Recording everything. Buying bottles, competing with the other people across the room. Sean, we getting money on. Bro, that bottle $80 in the store. You just paid $375 for that same bottle. Boy, you dumb young. Then you got the thirsty girls trying to sneak in your section, drinking up all your bottle. You only had two shots that you just paid three seventy five dollars for. Bro, you could have did that at home, fool. Y'all go to the club, not even to dance, not to do nothing, just to stand in the section to show we getting money. And you got to go to work tomorrow, that same nine to five. That's dumb and pointless to me, bro. I don't get why y'all go to the club every weekend, but I won't be that person, bro. I know. If people are getting sections every night they go to the club because that's crazy i personally only get a section when it's a special event and i have my people with me and i just want to you know, chill with my people while we at the club you know what i'm saying and when i and the people that i invite with me they're gonna have fun man they're gonna turn up always my, my my friends be turning up why do clubs suck now and why does club culture suck now club and party culture is really dying in a lot of places in america right now for a couple reasons and i think it's part pandemic after effect social media and like mean girl wannabes but i definitely agree with her right here the pandemic definitely affected club culture for sure man it took a while to recover after the pandemic and i think it's still recovering or maybe it's diminishing <laughs> And by that, I mean, it's like the energy that people come to the club with. Like, people don't come to the club anymore to let loose, have fun, and be silly. Like, people come for the aesthetic of going out. And if you are one of the minority of people who does want to let loose and have fun, next thing you know, people are laughing at you and not with you. People don't know how to, like, let go of their pride and just have a little bit of fun. Yeah, um, I've been one of those people that laugh at someone. I'm not going to lie. Huh? The only reason I do it is that is when they look really, really, really extremely goofy. Like you could tell that they're off of some crack or something. Like back then, you weren't clubbing if you didn't leave the club drenched in sweat. The ladies' blowouts were blown out. <laughs> Hair was puffed up, wigs were lifting, clothes might have been a little ripped, heels had been broken off, white shoes were now brown and tan because they've been stepped on many times but you didn't care you were partying you were having a great time and while he's sitting right here it does happen from time to time i've been in situations like that where i'm sweaty as hell just have a good time but it doesn't happen a lot maybe back in his day i don't know how old he is but maybe back in the day it did happen all the time it was expected at the club but i wouldn't go expecting that shit now 
Unless you go to like an EDM club or a Latin club or something. She just stiff-handed my girl. That's crazy. We going to war. This is Sparta! This is Sparta! Nightclubs are gone. They're gone. They're completely gone. Do you know gone. in 2019, there was 1,500 clubs in the yeah. UK? Today, we're sitting on like 600 and they're just getting more and more less. I, I, talk, I talk to my nieces, like my niece is like 24 or mm. whatever. They don't really go clubs. No. They go festivals. Festivals, yeah. Or if there's a big event, a, a big super club. Yeah. Once they they book the tickets for that. Yeah. yeah, man. Social media is affecting everything. Social media is definitely affecting everything. Men are seeing certain type of content. Women are seeing certain type of content. And I think that's the reason why they don't dance with guys as much as they used to. And and the men are not going to approach as much as they used to because of social media, what they see. So it's fucking us up, bro. It's literally fucking us up, bro. Fucked. Here's why I no longer go to the club. Bro, the club is the last place on earth that you should be spending your time as a young man. Oh, but, but, the, but the club's fun, bro. No, it's not. A club is one of the worst environments that you could be in as a human being. It's a waste of money, time, effort and energy. Oh, but, but I go to the club to celebrate, bro. What the fuck are you celebrating? You're broke. Start getting into shape, start making some more money, start setting goals for yourself. That's what's really fun. Waking up feeling like death because you drank too much is not enjoyable at all. All right, so there's nothing wrong with having fun, but if you have things that you got to do, man, if you got things that you got to work on, make sure you put that first before the damn club. I never put the club before my work. Hell no, because I'm going to be at the club thinking about the work I should have did, and I'm not going to have a good time. How old is too old to go clubbing? I reckon like 25, but then you should have your shit sorted. 25. So once you hit 25, you can't come to the club. Wait, look, I think that you should go out dancing at whatever age, but for here, I'd say like 25. How old is too old to go clubbing? What's the cutoff age? 26. 26? Once you hit 26, just you should not be coming clubbing. Yeah. How old are you? I'm, I'm 18. 26? 18. How old is too old to come clubbing? For me, 27. For anyone else, it's their own business. Yeah, um, I'm 27, and I don't go out to the clubs like that. I ain't gonna last year, last year's spring, I did go quite a bit. I usually have periods where I go like every week for like four weeks, and then I don't go again for like six months, <laughs> seven months. This is one of those periods now, man. If I'll go, last time I went was for a friend's birthday celebration, because I didn't feel the need to like talk to these girls, bro. Like, I'm in a club, like, like I'll talk to one that really catches my eye. But then again, I don't feel the need to just run around and chase these girls like I used to back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean like when I was 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Because <laughs> I already done, I already worked on my game. I know what I'm doing. I don't, need to, I don't need to be chasing these girls, especially when they're a little bit more standoffish nowadays. Like they wear sunglasses and can't have a conversation. It's crazy. You ask them what their name is, they said, I'm fine. I'm like, okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> Bet. Like, you can't give somebody your name? Shit. But, anyways, man, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.